Vittorio Storaro has been named as one of history's most influential cinematographers. And with titles to his name like Apocalypse Now, Reds and The Last Emperor, it's little surprise why. These films have won him three Oscars and he was nominated for a fourth for Dick Tracy. Today he's in Florence to promote a new book about the art of cinematography at an event hosted by the Lorenzo de' Medici Institute. This is a history of cinema through the major classic films, major masterpieces, seen from the eyes of every cinematographer. So it's the history of cinema, in the sense, but maybe done through the history of cinematography. To the history of cinematography, they inspire me, or Luciano Tavoli, or Daniele Nanuzzi, my friend, they helped me to do it. In the sense that uh, cinema, don't forget that involved many, many arts. It's the modern art today, because it's, it's connected with literature, with painting, with music. I was lucky because I had the great opportunity to study in Italian school, film school. I was lucky because I met wonderful people in the film industry, they helped me. Great film director, particularly Bernardo Bertolucci in Italy, Francis Coppola, Warren Beatty, Carlo Saura. I was lucky because they recognized my work internationally, they gave me several uh, recognition. I was lucky because I had a, somebody like my wife, they was able to take care of the family and tell me, Vittorio, don't worry, I worry about the family, you worry about your creativity. He was born in Rome in 1940 and grew up surrounded by movies as his father was a cinema projectionist. He was screening films and he pushed me to be into the image of films. Uh, practically, the contact uh, became that this dream became my own dream. I also understood that uh, everything I learned in school was not enough. I was very ignorant. I, and so I understood that uh, cinema, being uh, ten muses, nourished itself from the other nine: literature, philosophy, painting, music, architecture, sculpture, so on. So. That was uh, something that kept, uh, and, uh, and I tried to fill the gap from the professional study. I was lucky because uh, I had the opportunity to say no to several um, um, chances that people gave me to do one film after another. I say no, I can't. I just finished one, now I need to refresh my mind, I need to study, I need to research to prepare myself for the next one. Not many people have this kind of opportunity because they, you get involved professionally you, to make money, to become successful, you never stop. I was lucky because I understood that when particular you reach one level of your success, if you stay, you, don't, you keep going in this way, you practically, you, you don't have opportunity to think. Vittorio Storaro has collaborated with many other greats in cinema, Francis Ford Coppola, Warren Beatty and Bernardo Bertolucci, as well as a list of some of the very best actors. Who are some of the, the Hollywood greats that you've enjoyed working with the most or learnt the most from? Marlon Brando. Marlon he was a genius. He was, he was not an actor, he was a genius. Uh, you know, you can, you can feel the... The, 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 his magnetism. Another one was Elizabeth Taylor. Also Elizabeth Taylor, you can feel the vibration of Elizabeth if she just came out from the door of that big, big room like this one. Um, anything that I heard about him was not true. He was really somebody really feel uh, the way to do it. No one arrived at the point of his success to be uh, so important, uh, to be paid so much can accept to do a sequence like in Apocalypse Now, the practically is not been seen. But he was searching for something like that. That was also Francis was searching. We spoke about the sequence six months before with Francis because he knew that he needed me to do that movie, to put in relation again, conscious and unconscious, a culture and nature, a civility and, 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 and what is the way of living in, in nature. That was what uh, Francis was looking for. And when I present this idea, when Marlon arrived in, 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 to film in this, that sequence, 
we were through the middle of the film. He knew that this character, he couldn't build like he did in Last Tango, day by day. The character, till that moment, he, we, he, everybody talk about cars. You can hear his voice in one little uh, sequence, or you saw one or two photographs, that's all. When he arrived, he says, I cannot be seen by like a normal human being. And I present this idea to Francis Aim that we already know that he has to reveal himself through the shadows, through it, like a mosaic, like a piece by piece he can create in his own character till reveal his face and, and describing the horror of war. No one other actor could do it. And he told me, Vittorio, yes, but I understand the idea, I like the idea. But how I can know where the light ending and where the shadow start. And I showed to him through a double what he can do, that you have to raise yourself when you're over here, you pass here, you've been like that. But don't worry, I will be next to you at the beginning. For the so I can create in the shadow exactly at the point that you see all your eyes. After, it's up to you. If you go like that, you reveal yourself. Like that, you hide in yourself. He did all the tests and he was brilliant. Apocalypse Now is one of his most famous films. He describes one of the most important scenes where we finally meet the deranged character of Colonel Kurtz, played by Marlon Brando. Getting it right was essential. From uh, Giovinezza Giovinezza, my first film that was so strongly connected with the relationship between light and shadows, I have to, to go to the conformist to say now I'm using this harmony of conflict between the two in color to tell how the dramaturgy of color connected with the conflict of light. And after I go to Las Tango when I'm using another relationship between artificial and natural light. And after I go to 1900, because that's the moment that I balanced all the four seasons and the four different uh, uh, um, vision elements that till that moment. And after I jump to Apocalypse Now, I'm uh, making the connection between these two major elements, conflict between two cultures. But apart from the Oscar-winning films, he has broken ground with other works. Last Tango in Paris, The Conformist and Little Buddha are some of the other best-known films. This book is a tribute to the hundreds of people who have worked in cinema in its hundred-year history and the epic films produced around the world from the earliest black and white silent films to the latest Hollywood blockbusters. It explores the basics of cinematography, the use of color, light, shadow, mood and atmosphere. The book, The Art of Cinematography, is on sale now. <laughs>